we are with another immigration story for grade fives. This story is called Mustafa by Marie Louise Gay. And if you were at Langley Christian last year, you would have heard in 2018, 2019, this was one of the books that we chose for our Canadian book celebration. So it's a Canadian book. Marie Louise Gay has written a lot of stories that we love. And, um, and this one is about a little um, boy who immigrates with his family to Montreal. We think it's Marie Louise Gay is from Quebec, so I think he, he immigrates to Montreal. And it reminds me of Out, because in the story Out, the little girl actually comes to Australia, and it's about her living there already. And so this is a story about a little boy, and he's living in Montreal. And he's trying to get used to this new place to live. Mustafa. And Mustafa is an Arabic name. And there, just a little hint of where he's come from. You can see them traveling, walking on foot. Here again, they walked on foot. Now they're in a boat. And you can tell the time moves by the moon. The moon is a sliver, becomes full, and that tells us the passing of time. And again, and they're going to arrive. Mustafa and his family traveled a very, very long way to get to their new country. Some nights, Mustafa dreams about the country he used to live in. Dreams full of smoke and fire and loud noises and he wakes up. Where am I, he asks. You are here, says his mama. She hugs him tightly. They go out to look at the moon and the stars. Is that the same moon as in our old country, asks Mustafa. Yes, says his mama, the very same moon. Only then can Mustafa go back to bed. Mustafa looks down at the park. It is so green. In his country, the trees were gray with dust and dry as sticks. He sees birds hiding in the trees, red birds and blue birds and yellow birds. He sees two small animals jumping from branch to branch. Their bushy tails wave and curl in the air. They chatter like monkeys. Do you want to play in the park, asks his mother. Yes, Mustafa says and he runs downstairs. Mustafa walks under the trees. The air smells green and cool. He sees flowers shaped like grandmother's pink teacups. He sees flowers that look like dragon tongues. He finds two treasures, a small white snail and a yellow heart-shaped leaf. Mustafa sees a parade of ants carrying tiny blades of grass like flags. They look like the ants in his own country, and so do the soft, fuzzy caterpillars, and so do the buzzing bees. Mustafi hears a noise, and he hides behind a tree. A girl walks in the park. She holds a ribbon tied to a kitten. In Mustafa's country, kittens are skinny and wild, and they live in the streets, and they do not wear ribbons. The girl sees him and says something. Mustafa does not understand her words. He pretends to tie his shoe, and then... He runs back to the apartment. Back already, asks his mother. What did you see in the park? Mustafa tells her about the flowers that look like Grandmama's tiny teacups, and he tells her about the parade of ants that are waving their flags. And then he shows her the white snail shell and his yellow heart-shaped leaf. Lovely, said his mother. He does not tell her about the girl with the cat. The next day, Mustafa sees shiny red bugs with black spots on them. He finds more treasures, an acorn, a speckled stone, and a perfect drawing stick. Mustafa draws a plane in the sand. He draws the house he used to live in. He draws clouds of smoke and fire, and he draws broken trees. Suddenly, the girl with the cat is there. She points to the drawings and says something. Her words float in the air and disappear. Mustafa drops his stick and runs away. The girl draws flowers and butterflies and stars. She draws her cat. The clouds of smoke and fire disappear, and so do the broken trees. Mustafa goes to the park every day. The trees have turned bright orange and red. Is this magic, he wonders? He sees an old lady feeding breadcrumbs to a whirlwind of pigeons. In Mustafa's country, there would never be enough food to share with the birds. The old lady speaks to them. She must be a magician, he thinks. Mustafa wishes he could speak bird language. 
Mustafa sees a small vampire chasing a fairy and a fox and a rabbit. They're screaming and laughing. Mustafa waves to them. They do not see him. They disappear into the trees. And it's fall. It's October and it's Halloween, but he has no idea about Halloween. He has no idea what those children are doing. Then Mustafa hears music. It winds its way through the trees like a river. A man is playing a red accordion. Mustafa knows this tune. His uncle Amir played it all the time. Everyone smiles and waves and claps their hands. A dog barks. A bird sings. Mustafa begins to whistle the music. Nobody notices him. Mama asks Mustafa, am I invisible? If you were invisible, answers his mama, I couldn't hug you, could I? The next day, Mustafa sees the girl with the cat. Before she can see him, he scrambles to the top of a huge tree. Now he is really invisible. But the girl with the cat finds him. She makes a sign with her hand. It means, come, come with me. He follows the girl to a pond filled with dark water. The girl points. There are three fat orange fish swimming in a circle. The girl takes some yellow grain out of her pocket and she throws it into the water. The fish rush to the surface to eat. They make funny fish faces. Mustafa laughs. So does the girl. The girl leads Mustafa to another part of the park where there are swings. She ties her cat to a tree. She sits in the swing. The girl swings back and forth, higher and higher. She looks down at Mustafa. He sits on a swing. He swings slowly back and forth, but then higher and higher. Together they almost reach the treetops. Together they almost touch the clouds. The girl points to herself and says something. It sounds like Maria. It sounds like music. It sounds like happy music. Maria. Then she points to Mustafa. He understands. Mustafa, he says. Mustafa. Maria smiles. Mustafa does not feel invisible any more. And that is the story of how Mustafa meets Maria. <laughs>